Ladies and gentlemen, the victors of the 74th Hunger Games, Katniss Everdeen and Peter Malak. Installment uh, starts in Victor's Village with uh, Katniss and Peeta in their post-victory homes. And uh, from right off the bat, there's a little issue with what happened in the first one that uh, President Snow, Donald Sutherland, is uh, not so happy about. Yeah, and everything is getting a lot more intense. You know, the first movie was a, was a, about the games. This movie, we're, def we're moving towards the rebellion. Yeah, and this movie, it does get a lot darker. Um, you know, the, the overall... Everything kind of gets bumped up a lot. The world expands. You see much more, Pat, uh, much more of uh, Pan Am and much more of the districts. And uh, I think, yeah, there's a lot of dark themes, and I think it's something that people can connect with now. Everything's not all bright and beautiful. People are looking at you, Katniss. You've given them an opportunity. They just have to be brave enough to take it. You know, if you ask everyone uh, in this audience why they love the series, they would each give you an individual, unique answer. And some would be similar in that it may be about politics. Some, uh, you know, will, will suggest that it's about this strong woman at the center. If we are making this Catching Fire for like a million dollars in Detroit, I would have signed up. Like, I love this woman. And I really felt like I needed to see her through. So I'm very fortunate to get to be cast. It's incredible. I mean, these are actors that I look up to and I admire so much and respect. To get to be beside them working is like a dream come true. David, just please, please just help me get through this trip. This trip doesn't end when you get back home. So what do we do? From now on, your job is to be a distraction so people forget what the real problems are. Catching Fire, the book is set more in the capital and on a victory tour, so it was a real opportunity for Francis to do something visual and amazing and continue building the world of uh, The Hunger Games. Well, this for me is the story where some of the themes for the entire series really start to come into play. Uh, you know, for me, the books are really about the consequence of war and the consequence of violence and what that does to people, whether they partake in it or they just witness it. Suzanne Collins definitely doesn't spoon feed anyone or talk to the teenagers, you know, like their teenagers, about, you know, our, our society and the consequences of war. You know, this all starts with Suzanne Collins. She created Candace Everdeen, and Candace is incredible. Her entire species must be eradicated. Her species, sir. The other victors.